understand how to make your way through the entire Amplitude Experiment workflow, let's use the following scenario. Imagine you work on the product team for a fitness site called Amplifit. As a member of the product team, you are looking for ways to increase the number of people that book fitness classes. A team member suggested that the homepage should encourage users to invite friends to work out together. But before you can go making a sweeping change to the homepage experience, you want to be sure it actually works. And this is where Amplitude Experiment comes in. Before you can design and run an experiment, you need to ensure you have a deployment created for the project in which you are running the experiment, and then install the SDK. In Amplitude Experiment, a deployment is how you serve a group of flags or experiments for code execution. Once you create a deployment, Experiment will generate an access key, which you then use within your code base to properly route your flags and experiments. Deployments live under Amplitude projects. Generally, a project is a subdivision of your Amplitude organization. For example, you may have projects for different products or for different areas or sections of your app. A project can have multiple deployments, but each deployment can only be attached to a single project. Check this list to see if you have your desired deployment in your target project. If you do not see it here, you need to create a deployment. To create a deployment, click Add Deployment. Choose the Amplitude project you'd like the deployment to be associated with. If you want to create deployments in multiple projects at once, just select all the relevant projects from the drop-down list. Next, choose a name for your deployment and specify its type, client-side or server-side. Client-side deployments run on a client device, such as a web browser or mobile app. Server-side deployments run on a server you control, such as a web server or batch processing system. Server-side keys can access the REST API for flag evaluation. If, instead of running a full-blown experiment, you only need to evaluate flags using the REST API, you should create a server-side deployment. If you are unsure which type to use, talk with your engineering lead. When you click Add Deployment, Amplitude Experiment will create your deployments and automatically generate keys to copy and use. The next step is installing the SDK. We have SDKs available for the most popular programming languages and libraries. If there is no SDK available that's compatible with your code base, you can always use our REST API. See the Amplitude Developer documentation for more information on SDKs and our REST API. While the engineering lead is taking care of the SDK, the product lead, or the person responsible for setting up and running the experiment, should put together a detailed test plan that explicitly lists out the whole design and rationale for the experiment. This should start with a problem statement. A strong problem statement will clearly define the specific problem you're trying to solve. Next, you should think about your experiment goals, what metric you would use to track the effectiveness of your changes, and your hypothesis on what you expect to happen as a result of implementing those changes. Your goal should detail what you want to achieve as a result of the experiment. Think about your business and product objectives, product KPIs, and product features that relate to your problem statement to help specify your goals. The primary metric should be closely tied to your introduced change. It should be based on the action that you expect your users to take after encountering your introduced change. The hypothesis should explain how you plan to solve the problem. When you can, you should also include supporting data that fuels your design process, such as data from Amplitude Analytics charts and dashboards, and or other analytic sources, heat maps, support channels, user research, etc. If you'd like, include target audiences, sample sizes of those audiences, and the experiences those audiences will see to help speed up creating the experiment. And also be sure to include a testing timeline so you and your team understand the time constraints around your experiment. Take your time in creating your test plan. Creating a good test plan will help you ensure you are testing for the right thing, measuring it correctly, and using your time wisely by performing an experiment.